All right, I'm back. Second video today. Quite a few news going on. A lot's always going on uh, with Gods and Chain, and also my second attempt to record my second video today. <laughs> I feel like I went on a ramble on the first one, so let's just jump straight into it. Uh, so the Gods and Chain team dropped um, a new article today with changes coming to weekend ranked uh, right this weekend. So in just two days, uh, you're going to see changes. So make sure to get acquainted uh, with them. So the three most important changes happening uh, very soon. Um, it's the card park rewards. Uh, you've probably seen an article in the past, in the past few days where uh, they shared uh, changes to the packs you get uh, depending on your wins and, the, and their respective rank. Uh, the idea here is to it's to make mythic rank more fierce, to also address people deranking, uh, the gods reward coming back together with the uh, weekend rank. Uh, they do mention that the weekend ranked um, has been a play to earn system, which is great for um, for quite a while. It's a proven concept; it works. So they are adding gods rewards uh, with it in the meantime. Uh, until they make it, until they, they they find another way to make it work. Now I do like the fact this is this is it's an interim, it's temporary because one thing I forgot to also put in my last video, uh, uh, therefore I'm recording again is I was gonna share a bit more about my feelings uh, about this and not the gods tokens per se, but the weekend rank is the fact that I personally, uh, again pers personally, it might be completely different to you. Uh, I think the weekend rank already adds a lot of pressure. Uh, you're trying to play your best. It's it's a twenty, the twenty, the first twenty five games count straight away. You try to do your best because you obviously want to earn those those packs. You want to you want to earn those core packs so you can get competitive. Uh, you want to earn the new expansion packs so you can get cards that you need, or maybe you rely on selling those cards. And now they're adding God tokens on top of that. Yes, it's more incentive, but a lot of pressure. Uh, again, that's for me. Uh, so I don't like the weekend rank uh, sometimes uh, because of the other pressure. But again, that's me. Uh, it might be completely different to you. And the second update, the third update and last update is the matchmaking. So. I recall they also uh, um, talked about this a few days ago. Again, most of these news, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please join the official Gods and Chain Discord uh, channel. Uh, you have the official uh, Gods and Chain team announcements there. And then, and I see this is a lot, people come and ask for help or repeating questions that I've seen many, many times. Just go to the Discord. There's many channels there. Um, just search and I'm sure you'll find an answer there uh, and you know feel free you can ask for help you can debate give feedback etc just just if you don't have discord discord and uh, goodex.com are the best places to be if you're a new player in my opinion because I use that all the time so it comes out of experience anyway these changes are happening right this weekend uh, so no time to lose so the first update card packs rewards they posted recently uh, on Reddit uh, just nine, nine, nine days ago they were making a new system so they're just gonna change uh, what what uh, card packs you actually get uh, per rank and per number of wins during the weekends uh, to address the deer ranking if you don't know what the deer ranking is uh, as far as I know is people will de rank on purpose uh, from mythic rank to below. Uh, to sp especially to be able to get better rewards in diamond they will get in mythic because they are they probably wouldn't be they probably will struggle to play against uh, a lot of, uh, again again uh, against a lot of people in in mythic so they felt just easier to get better rewards in higher wins therefore better rewards on diamond than mythic so they're changing that so you don't get people quitting an hour before just you go through the Select the God Power, select the Mulligan, quit. Start again, go in a queue, select the God Power, select, the, do the Mulligan stage where you select the card and then quit. 
annoying, but that's what people were doing that because they wanted to, um, well, to to take to to take advantage of the best they could do every weekend. So uh, again, they were not doing anything illegal. They were just most people were probably just taking advantage of what what was worth for them. So that's why they're making changes, and it's all explained here. Uh, there's better rewards now in Mythic. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's hard to get to Mythic unless you never played any game like this before. Uh, if you do, then I do get the incentive. A lot of people get uh, to Mythic rather quickly. Uh, so this is an incentive for you to get there, stay there. And the gods tokens uh, are coming to help that as well. So feel free to read this. Uh, they explain their, um, their reasoning behind. Um, you can also check the, the new card pack rewards. There's a spreadsheet for that. Uh, unless, uh, or maybe they're just remain. Just, they're just staying the same. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, second update: the gods reward. So the gods reward, you were able to get just by playing during the week. You had three. You had a minimum of twenty games, seven wins, whatever it was, up to three times that. Uh, you you could get. All the way from one or 1.5 to four points and those points will determine how many gods will you will get divided by the number of players and whatever was there i think was the number of players per week so they extended and then they stopped uh, they had a big poll that was enough for eight weeks but they stopped because of bots now it took personally it took me a, a bit to click because I saw the bots, but then I was like, okay, who cares, bots, um, that brings more players, I'm not saying it's right with more players, so everyone gets tokens, but then I realized they have a limited amount of gods tokens they're ever going to give to players. So those bots are stealing, for me, and you, genuine players, people that are perhaps trying to make a living out of this game, trying to build a brand, trying to... You know, be part, be part of, of the of of the community. Uh, there, they were stealing uh, tokens uh, from everyone, and just you know, if you ever play any game with scammers and hackers, and that game is not going to survive. So I'm glad they are tackling that. So props to them. I mean, they have working product since 2018. Yes, yeah, still in beta, still not mobile, still bugs, but. I'm glad they are tackling this. Don't forget that it was also this team that uh, built the Immutable X to go around uh, the Ether um, fees. So if you start playing just a year ago, you will know how much some cars were more expensive just because of fees in Ether. So yeah, I like this. Um, I'm personally disgusted with people who use bots. Uh, they were stealing tokens. They are damaging the game. Yeah, they're affecting everyone in long term. So good but again this is temporary they're eventually gonna find another way of, of having gods hopefully in a way that incentivize people to play daily i don't know if you guys noticed but if you like to go on twitch and see people playing there's less people playing because there's less of an incentive now uh the, again the, 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 the thing the only thing i don't like is just adds more into the weekend it's just those two slash three days a week it's like boring during the week kind of uh and then a lot to do uh we'll go through the spreadsheet in a minute uh another thing i would noticed as well is the pool allocation so they always start with 100,000 tokens for everyone up to a maximum of just double that and how is that going to work now it's not um how many players are in the game but uh, they're always going to be comparing versus previous week if there's more players, uh, hopefully genuine players, not bots, they will increase the pool. If there is less, they will decrease the pool. So you can go all the way up to 210 and I guess even below that. Not sure. Uh, again, it's to address bots. It's a way. It's a way that they have to give gods tokens in the meantime to people, and those gods tokens are going to be important for people to forge. And more mechanics they're going to add an incentive. So they they have to get those tokens to people, but they want to make sure that only 
only good actors actually get those tokens, not scammers and and bots and bad actors. Um, again, the form is going to be the same. It's going to be your points, uh, which it, 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 your points are basically going to be going to be on your performance during that weekend, divided by the number of total players and times the reward pool. Claim is going to be the same. So let's look at the spreadsheets very quickly. Make sure you guys check this if this is very important to you. So not surprised by the fact you're gonna get less rewards on diamond. Here explains now, you, depending on your ranking, how many wins you get on your ranking. Don't forget the weekend rank, the, the one that matters is the one you start with, not the one you will finish with. Uh, so if you are in mythic, when it starts, you are mythic and so on. Again, you can keep track of that on goodex.com in your uh, player page. If you don't know how to, to do that, uh, I have articles on, on my PICD uh, profile, uh, how you can uh, find your page, especially if you're a new player. And the, the points. So everyone can get uh, points. So let's see, lower ranks. Uh, okay, so only the first only if you get 20 wins or more. Again, the top 10 doesn't matter, which is a good thing, because top 10 is so difficult nowadays. So lower ranks, you only get, this is not the number of tokens you get, this is points, okay, points. Uh, only, the f only the 20 to 25 wins, same thing, same thing, same thing. Then from impact missed, you're at, you, you start getting from 19, 18, 17, 16, I think a lot of people here. Eight wins, you already get some points. Good. Solar gold, even four wins. I think it's diamond. A any win can get you um, can get you points, and obviously mythic. Then, yeah, it's very uh, looks very balanced. It's not like mythic getting twenty wins or more is going to get you truckloads of gods. I think it's fairly balanced. It's for everyone. Uh, and they probably explain this in the article if you read uh, more attentively they explain that uh, they want to make it for everyone because they want to create an economy it's not just to give to the top players it, obviously they want to reward the top players they want to reward the people that are putting effort therefore probably investing buying cards to get competitive etc but they're trying to create an economy here um, and yeah, this will do for this video. I hope you liked and understood the changes. I'll post a link below. You let me know what you think. If you like this type of content, make sure to check my articles on Peak D um, on YouTube. And also feel free to join me on Twitch every Tuesday to Saturday where I play some games. And you can also ask me questions where I'm going to go soon. See you there. Thank you. Bye-bye.